I'm uh, Jeff Hansard. I'm the director of the Court Appointed Special Advocate Program here in Delaware County, also known as CASA. And uh, CASA is a program uh, which is administered by the local court system. And we recruit, train, uh, and support community volunteers who act as advocates for abused or neglected children in our community. The first thing we're working on is volunteer support to come up with a program to help the current volunteers stay active, stay engaged, stay enthusiastic and excited about their role in these children's lives. The volunteers have to do 30 hours of training and then after that each year they have to do an additional 10 each year just to kind of brief them up on things and with the survey, we sent out a survey last semester asking volunteers what they want in training and what they're looking for and a lot of them talked about court, how to be professional in the court. So our team is coming up with some recommendations for improving their training. They are also going to be conducting training for the new spring class of potential volunteers. They are going to come up with some online modules that can be used every year as CASA sees fit. Then the BBC program has also helped us with uh, some volunteer uh, retention and recognition events that were, uh, it, once we've trained all these volunteers, we want to keep them because there's a time and, and they have the experience and expertise in working with these cases. So we've been working on uh, projects to help better uh, recognize our volunteers so that we, we can retain them longer. What I've seen how we've been helping CASA a lot has been that we are 10 extra people on the ground to help them do a lot of the projects that they can initiate themselves. They have what they call the CASA big list and it's a giant list of projects that they've hoped to accomplish. The list has just been growing for the past few years since CASA is open. The projects that the, the group has worked on with us are something that's become a force multiplier for our program. Uh, we have a very small staff, we have a large number of volunteers, and what these projects have enabled us to do is to better serve these volunteers in their roles as advocates. The biggest thing that I've learned has been balancing what you could do with what you actually can do. And so a lot of it has that we've done with CASA has been balancing what is feasible for a semester-long project for this spring versus what would CASA absolutely love to have done. I've learned child abuse isn't something, it goes on in your community also. Uh, child abuse, you know, I've grown up in a very sheltered home and a sheltered community, so when I worked with CASA it just made me realize that this is an issue that happens everywhere, not just, I mean you hear things on the news, but it happens in your hometown also, and I think it's an issue that people try not to, I don't want to say they ignore it, but it is an issue that a lot of people don't want to get involved with. I think CASA helps people get involved. These programs and the projects that the fellows through the BBC have come up with are really just going to leave a lasting legacy and a lasting mark on our program. 